Hey everyone, today we're going to explore how to compute sentence similarity using the Hugging Face Transformers library. But first, why do we even need sentence similarity models? Imagine you're developing a chatbot for a bank. A user asks, what is the process to open a savings account? Traditionally, you might use a text classification model. However, this approach has some notable disadvantages. Firstly, it requires extensive data preparation, which can be time-consuming and labor-intensive. You need to define the intents and then prepare a huge data set for each intent. Secondly, it sometimes yields incorrect results with high confidence scores, which can be misleading. This is where sentence similarity shines. Instead of training on predefined categories, you feed example sentences directly to the model. It calculates similarity scores, allowing you to quickly identify the most relevant response. No extensive training required, just input and evaluation. Stay tuned as we explore how to implement this powerful technique in Python. Let's start. First, import the necessary modules. From Transformers, import Auto Tokenizer, Auto Model. Auto Tokenizer and Auto Model from the Transformers library are used to load pre trained models and tokenizers. Next, import Torch. Torch is used for tensor operations, which are crucial for handling large data sets efficiently. Next, Import torch.yenyen, which is torch neural networks dot functional as NNF. This provides a range of functions to perform various neural network operations. Next, from sklearn.metrics.pairwise, import cosine similarity. This computes the cosine similarity between vectors, which helps in comparing sentence embeddings. Next, load model from Hugging Face Hub. Here we're going to use all mini LML6V2, a lightweight model optimized for sense embeddings. Tokenizer equals to auto tokenizer dot from pre-trained sentence transformers slash model name. This line initializes a tokenizer using the auto tokenizer class from the Hugging Face Transformers library. The from pre-train method is used to fetch a pre-trained tokenizer model specified by the string identifier sentence transformers all mini lm.l6 v2. This particular tokenizer is designed to work with the mini lml6 model focusing on sentence embeddings. Next, model equals to auto model dot from pre-trained sentence transformers slash model name. Here, an instance of the model is initialized using automodel from the Hugging Face Transformers library. Next, define some sentences we want to compare. Let's define some sentences for a bank chatbot for which we want to generate embeddings. A sentence about account. A sentence about credit card. A sentence about update address. And a sentence about loan. These sentences will be used to compare against the input sentence and find the most similar ones. Next, define a mean pooling function to handle embeddings. Def mean pooling, which takes two arguments, model output, and attention mask. Token embeddings equals to first element of model output, which contains all token embeddings. Next. Input mask expanded equals to attention mask dot unsqueeze of minus one dot expand token embeddings dot size dot float. Attention mask dot unsqueeze of minus one adds an extra dimension to the attention mask tensor. Expand token embeddings dot size expands the attention mask to match the dimensions of token embeddings. And then, float converts the expanded mask to a float tensor. Finally, return torch.sum token embeddings into input mask expanded, comma 1. Divided by torch.clamp, input mask expanded, dot sum of 1, min equals to 1e e to the power of negative 9. Token embeddings contains the vectors representing each word in the sentence. Input mask expanded is a mask where non padding tokens are 1 and padding tokens are 0. Multiplying these element wise means that only the embeddings of the actual words, which is non padding token, remain while the embeddings of padding tokens are zeroed out. Torch.sum, token embeddings into input misc expanded, comma 1. This sums up the embeddings along the sequence length, which is dimension 1. This gives a single vector for each sentence, which is the sum of the embeddings of the non-padding tokens. And input misc expanded dot sum of 1 counts the number of non-padding tokens in each sentence. Min equals to 1e e to the power of negative 9, ensuring this count is at least 1 times 10 to the power of negative 9 to avoid division by 0. Dividing the summed embeddings by the count of non-padding tokens gives the average, that is, mean embedding for each sentence. The mean pooling function is used to compute the average of token embeddings from a model output while considering the attention mask. This pooling method ensures that padding tokens are not included in the average, which is crucial for accurately representing the sentence embedding. Next, we are going to define the core function of our process, the compute similarity function. This function takes an input sentence and calculates the similarity scores between it and a list of predefined sentences. Def compute similarity and pass the input sentence. Next, tokenize the input sentence. Encode input equals to tokenizer. 
pass the input sentence, padding equals to true, truncation equals to true, and return tensors equals to PT. This line uses the tokenizer to tokenize the input sentence. The padding equals still true ensure that the input is appropriately padded. And the truncation equals still true ensure that the input is truncated to match the model's expected input size. The return tensors equals still PT parameter specifies that the output should be in the form of PyTorch tensors. Next, generate embeddings for the tokenized input sentence with torch.nograd. Input model output equals still model, double star encode input. Here, we use the torch.nograd context manager to disable gradient calculations, which saves memory and speeds up the computation since we are only interested in the forward pass. Next, compute the sentence embedding for the input sentence. Input sentence embedding equals still mean pooling. Input model output and attention mask from encoded input. This line calls the mean pooling function to compute the sentence embedding for the input sentence. The function takes the input model output and the attention mask from encoded input to generate a pooled embedding representing the input sentence as a fixed size vector. Next, normalize the computed sentence embedding. Input sentence embedding equals to yen yen f dot normalize. Input sentence embedding p equals to 2 and dim equals to 1. The computed sentence embedding is normalized to have a unit norm. Normalization ensures that the cosine similarity calculations are meaningful. The p equals to 2 parameter indicates the L2 norm, which means Euclidean norm, and dim equals to 1 specifies the dimension along which to normalize. Next, tokenize the list of predefined example sentences. Encoded sentences equals to tokenizer. Sentences padding equals to true, truncation equals to true, return tensors equals to PT. This line tokenizes the list of predefined example sentences using the same tokenizer settings as for the input sentence. Next, generate embeddings for a list of sentences. With torch.nograd, sentence modal output equals to model, double star encoded sentences. We pass the tokenized example sentences through the model to obtain their corresponding outputs, again using torch.nograd to disable gradient calculations. Next, compute the sentence embedding for the list of sentences. Sentence embeddings equals to mean pooling, census model output, and tension mask from encoded sentences. We use the mean pooling function to compute the embeddings for the example sentences, just like we did for the input sentence. Next, normalize the embeddings of the example sentences. Sentences embeddings equals to yen yen f dot normalize. Sentences embeddings p equals to 2 and dim equals to 1. The embeddings of the example sentences are normalized to have unit norms, ensuring that the similarity calculations are on a consistent scale. Next, compute the cosine similarity between the input sentence embedding and the example sentence embeddings. Similarities equals to cosine similarity, input sentence embedding, and sentences embeddings. This line computes the cosine similarity between the normalized embedding of the input sentence and the normalized embeddings of the example sentences. The result is a similarity matrix where each value represents the similarity score between the input sentence and an example sentence. Next, pair each example sentence with its corresponding similarity score. Sentence with scores equals to a list of zip of sentences and index zero of similarities. Here, we pair each example sentence with its corresponding similarity score by zipping the sentences list with the first row of the similarities matrix. Next, sort the list of sentences and their similarity scores in descending order. Sorted sentences equals to sorted sentences with scores key equals to lambda x colon index one of x and reverse equals to true. We sort the list of sentences and their similarity scores in descending order based on the similarity scores. This allows us to rank the sentences from most similar to least similar relative to the input sentence. Finally, print the sorted sentences along with their similarity scores. For I comma sentence score in a numerate of sorted sentences, start equals to one. Print sentence colon score. That's it. Now let's test our model. I'll open a while loop where we can input sentences and see how our compute similarity function works in action. While true, input sentence equals to input. Enter your sentence. Press Q to quit. If input sentence dot lower is Q, print exit. Break. Else, call our function and pass the input. Compute similarity. Input sentence. That's it. Run the code. Let's test with few inputs. What is the process to open a savings account? See, the sense with the top score is I want to open an account. The model accurately identified the similarity, allowing you to provide the correct response to the user's query. 
This is how a chatbot works by understanding user intentions. Now let's try another sentence. I lost my credit card. How to deactivate it. I want to modify the address in my passbook. How can I apply for a personal loan? See how easy it is to identify the user's intention without the need for complex text classification model. Using simple sentence similarity, we can achieve accurate results. You can tag these source senses and use their intents or IDs to proceed further in your application or system. This approach not only simplifies the process, but also showcases the power of leveraging pre-trained models for natural language understanding tasks. You can also use sentence similarity to double check your text classification results. In my chatbot project, I've used this approach extensively and it's truly awesome. That's it folks. I hope you've learned an awesome model today, one that simplifies identifying user intentions using just sentence similarity. This approach can enhance various applications such as chatbots, search engines, recommendation systems, and customer support platforms where understanding user intent is crucial. Stay tuned, keep learning, and let's continue to discover the limitless possibilities of OWL together. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting content. Happy coding! Thank <laughs> you.